The sixth fight, Kenya versus Malawi. The cruise weight category, four rounds of three minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, making his way towards the ring, Lim Badilano Malawi, make some noise. Make some noise, uh, making his way towards the ring, uh, Limbani Lana Malawi. Let's show our support, Mauritius. Big round of applause. And now, making his way towards the ring, Joshua Wasike from Kenya. Make some noise! Making his way towards the ring, ladies and gentlemen, Joshua Wasike from Kenya. The cruise weight category for rounds of three minutes. Malawi versus Kenya in this fight. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the sixth fight, first round. I would like the boxers to go into their respective corners, blue corner and red corner. This is the first round. Let the fight begin.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, bout number six, Limbani versus Joshua. Limbani in the red corner and Joshua in the blue corner. Wait, that's it? Yeah. No, no sorry, Rivers. Yeah. Rivers. Limbani in the blue corner and Joshua, Joshua in, in the, the red, red corner. corner. I'm curious a little bit. I think Limbani is actually his last name. Because there's another Limbani on the card. Or who knows? Who knows? Fighters measuring each other out. Jab. Well, you know, Joshua's a bit more active at the moment. We're still at the beginning of the world, so we'll see how this one comes out. A massive hook there. I feel like Limbani looks like he respects Joshua's power. Limbani pairing those shots with the ball. And Joshua having a great head movement. Israel, body shots. Maybe the theme of the night, isn't it? Yeah, looks like it. Just out of range of Limbani. And his jabs not even connecting with the crowd. This one, I think Limbani is just using the jabs to keep Joshua in And he can enter and waiting to see if he has any openings. Beautiful head movement by Joshua. Definitely. I think this is one of the most tactical rounds we've had so far, where it's not much. You can see that each fighter is spiking each other, engaging and seeing if there's any openings. Definitely no slugfest just yet. Uh, we'll see what happens when we hit round three and four. Ooh, Ooh that was shot. a strong body shot. The second so, one. And Bunny with his own... Mbani responding and having Joshua, oh, Joshua responding as well to the body. A little flurry of hooks from both fighters. Look at the slugfest we just got when you were saying, oh, maybe not a slugfest. This looks time. like I was wrong, definitely. <laughs> and the referee looks like he's about to separate, separate them. Yes. yes. Stiff jab there from Joshua. Mbani responding with his own jabs. I feel like this is going to characterize this fight with um, bouts of not much happening, jabs not touching, and then just a little bit of explosive every time they yeah. come close to each other. Yeah. Ooh. That jab kind of caught, didn't it? A little scratch on Joshua's face, but it is fine. That was strong. Sure. I'm trying to find the hook there. And yeah. there we go, close quarters again. And the change. This round. Let me remind you, referee, so far, not much has Jiburn, uh, Chan Radio, judge number one, Jibota, uh, Pascal, uh, judge number two, Elaine uh, Stefano, judge number three, and supervisor, Vishal uh, Kanu. Shortly. Seconds out. Seems that way. We just heard the seconds out call. And we're we off. Are off. 
Ooh. Was that a slip or a tear? Looks like that was a slip. I think it was a stumble as well, and he just didn't expect from that force. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely looks like Lindani has had a burst of confidence from that. Though. A few hooks before he exits. Oh. And Manny's looking a lot more confident this round. Oh. That was a nasty body shot by Joshua. In terms of power, I don't think we've quite seen Another body shot this. again by Joshua. I don't think we've quite seen the maximum power from them, but those body shots must. But Joshua just shrugs it off and keeps going forward. Another jab, stiff jab to the face by Limbani to Joshua. Again. He's using that jab to keep him out of range as well. Oh, he saw the swings come in first hand and out of the way. Yeah, I think he's countering really well as well in this one. Another gonna exchange. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But Limani is doing this for he's able to get certain reactions out of Joshua and then he just gets out of the way. Waits for him to miss and then counters. Yeah, I feel like he took the first round more as a reading. Feel, round. Feeling round. Yeah. Feeling round. Just seeing what his opponent's got in store for. Came across a bit as timid, but I guess it was planned. Because we're seeing a completely different boxer in the second round. A shot to the body by Joshua, one to the head by Mimani before they sit in the clinch. Joshua's movement, head movement, is really good. He gets going to the top of the Off Not that catch, he was able to get a few body few, shots, few body in. shots yeah. in the clinch itself, yeah. Closer than the first, much closer than the first. I feel like, as you were saying, we've seen a totally different Limbani Lano than we saw in the first round. While Joshua's uh, movement is very impressive in the ring, I'm guessing he's going to be spending a lot of energy trying to maintain that movement, whereas Limbani is being conservative with his energy. I think so as well. He's doing bursts of uh, quick movement whenever he's slipping things from Joshua and then countering. And whenever he sees trouble coming, he's just clinching. Yeah. Probably a solid strategy. We'll see if Joshua can maintain this pace in the third round. Seconds out. Joshua pushing forward with that jab, Limbani responding with his own jab. Joshua playing the head movement game, Limbani stumbling, and then... He might, be, he might want to be careful there with those shots to the back of the head. Another body shot by Joshua. He's slipping those head punches really well. It would seem that Limbani has... Oh, and I'm down, there we go! That cross found its mark. Damn. That was unexpected. Right under pressure, right on the chin. It's over, ladies and gentlemen. The referee has waved it.
technical knockout by Joshua. They managed to back up part of a warrior, but he just... He was wobbly, he was wobbly. He was even wobbly, back. just walking back yeah. to his corner. I think even Limbani didn't expect that burst. Me neither, honestly. There was no yeah, like you said, we hadn't yet seen uh, any of the fighters come right now. We got to see it. Yeah, Max Alfred and then... And that speed as well, that speed and that power. Connecting oh, the yeah. sweet spot. I feel like that might have been Joshua's game plan the entire time, is to create an opening through attacking everything else but that and then just... And when he saw it, he just took it and yeah. left no... He didn't leave it to the judges this time. Oh no, man. <laughs> he left no ounce of power in his hand. Everything went straight to Limbani's face. Valiant effort by Limbani, though, trying to beat the eight count. But as you know, we always prioritize fighters' health. Good decision by the referee there. Yeah, man. I know. I know. Uh, he's gonna be like, "Oh no, I could have fought more." But safety, no, man. Safety first. Safety first. There's no reason to risk. CTE just to keep fighting. Collecting the final official results. Okay, you have the uh, official final results. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, the winner for the sixth fight, Joshua Wasika from Kenya, TKO. Round three. Forty-seven seconds. Congratulations to you.